Hi folks, and thanks for checking out I Suck at Painting. Today we're going to talk about wet palettes, and how to make a good DIY palette, and how to make a good store-bought palette even better. Okay, wet palettes. So most of us use them and a lot of us have made our own and there's a million videos on YouTube on how to make them. So how can we really say that this one is the best? Well, I've tried different sponge materials in, in these palettes. Um, I've tried paper towel, like a lot of people, just regular cloth, actual kitchen sponges, and I actually came across something that has been the best that I've found. I've had this water in this palette for God, probably five months and there's no smell. This thing stays moist all the time um, I, and I think it's something to do with this sponge material. Um, this is what it is, is these uh, chamois, I guess they're called. Um, this is about, I don't know, six bucks American. Um, you can buy these things everywhere. They're just these blue car wash chamois. Uh, they hold a lot of water. And I don't know if it's something to, something to do with what they're made of that keeps it from stinking but I have absolutely no smell in this, and I've, like I said, I've had this water in here for a long time. Now these things have a bumpy side and a flat side, which is on the inside here. If I unfold it, you could see that there's a flat side, uh, which is what I have facing up on this one. And one of these gets me four layers in this little container. Um, admittedly, this isn't the greatest container. Uh, I found uh, the, the, the most shallow one I could, but it's still a little bit deep uh, for my taste. Uh, so I'm still looking for a different container, but this gives me four layers from one of these chamois, um, which holds a ton of water. Um, and I actually just bought this one to put in my Masterson's. Because uh, this is big enough to get two layers in the handy wet palette. So, when I made mine, um, when I opened it up, I took it and I, I washed it really good with dish soap and made sure to rinse it thoroughly and uh, measured it out and cut it. So, you know, like I said, it's not very complicated to make one. But I do think that. These are far superior to everything else that I've tried as the sponging material. So, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna cut this thing up and get two layers in the Masterson. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I use this homemade palette. When I go other places, I throw this in my little travel kit. Uh, which I'm actually making a video on. I'll, I'll put a link to that when it is done. Um, but when I'm at home, I use the Masterson's, but that thing, it does get a little bit smelly and it, and it does dry out. So I'm gonna see what happens with this chamois. It should be a lot better. So I hope you found this informational. Um, give it a try. I think you'll like having no stink in your wet palette. And if you like these kinds of videos, Please go downstairs and do all the things. Push the like and the bell and the subscribe and the automatic air blaster. That's a new YouTube function. I am your Hawks, and I blame society.